Welcome to a very, very dark and ominous November morning where the time is, well, still the same as it was yesterday because <laughs> we haven't gone anywhere. Today we're going to be building up the infrastructure on our farm. We also have a bunch of straw to pick up as well. Eh, we'll get to that eventually. There's a few different things I want to do. First up is going to be to add at least one, if not two more of these bunkers in here. That way I could go ahead and ingest more stuff. The second thing I've actually already done, I removed all of the fences from this area, giving us a little bit more room to turn and get in and out of here. That should help a lot. And thirdly, I want to add a silo and everywhere that I've looked, I think this might be the spot right here. So that's what we're going to do first. So in silos, I got this bad boy right here. I believe this was a Schultz modding mod. Anyway, I've I may have done some stuff to it uh, and we're going to put it right. What bam there. That is a pretty good place for it. Uh, this will take in bales. It'll take all kinds of stuff. Uh, I just took his numbers and added a, a few zeros, as always. So now we can come in here and go in and add a few more bits and areas here. Now, I gotta remove some trees, because we do have some trees in the way, and I also have some fences and stuff here that I need to remove as well. Fortunately for me, demolish works really easy there, and we're able to delete uh, those little bits too, which is kind of nice. Let's see if I can get right down on the bottom of this without actually selecting that. Oh, this is difficult. Oh, come on. Let me know what I want to do that. All right. Well, those are just going to stay there then because I don't know what else to do with that. I do need to get the trees. That's going to be in here. And I think this will do it. And <laughs> goodbye. And goodbye to you. Please, please goodbye. Uh-oh, can't delete that tree. Oh, evidently can. Goodbye. And then I don't know if these are trees or if these are planted items. Well, there's one easy way to find out. Landscape, painting, dirt. Ah, well, that was easy, wasn't it? Go and get rid of a few more areas around there. And now I think we are ready to jump into, I believe it's productions. Yeah, yep, there it is. And add these guys right here. I want to add a minimum of one, but I'm thinking two might be a good way to go. Uh, there is going to be a bit of clipping. Sorry. Really, I want these just to match up in the front. So I should probably close these so I can do that. Make sure free build is turned on and what bam there's one and then we'll do, I don't know, one more All right there. Look pretty good. Get a little wha-bam. Probably add a fifth one in here as well, if I'm completely honest with you guys. Uh, and it might actually be a good idea. Let's see if I can. I got the money for it. We do have a big tree in the way, but I'm not sure anybody's really going to complain about that. So we'll just get it lined up kind of right-ish. Right around with the back, right around with the front, and wha-bam. Oh no, I forgot to turn on the free build with that one. Oops. And I think a little painting can't fix. We're also going to go in here and go and demolish all of these bits because I'm going to add new ones. Check this out. So we'll start off with the hedge because that's always the easiest one. Ba boop. There we go. I could also maybe run these down the center. I think I've got them down the center. Yeah. Can I even do this? Is that going to work? Oh yeah, that does work. Like really well. Hey, that looks cool. It takes up a lot of that extra space that there would literally be nothing going on with as well. I wonder if I can connect from here, maybe? Ooh, having a hard time. Yep, got it. Figured it out. I just don't know where I am now. Man, I tell you what, build mode is cool, but you can get involved with some trees and you can get yourself in some trouble. With four of those five bunkers now filled up with silage, I got a little bit extra. So let's bring it over to our brand new silo and we'll just go ahead and dump it all in there. Ba boom. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? All right. So now that we've got everything, I've got 40,000 liters, which it says it can take 40,000 liters more of ouch uh, of manure. So I wonder if it'll only take 40,000 liters more intake or if I can actually only put 40,000 liters in. These will hold, I think it's 75,000. We'll, we'll take a look here and see. Is that going up? No, it's not. So I could go ahead and put as much of that in there as I want. We're going to fill that thing up. And a second dumper should fill us all the way to the tippy top. Hopefully there won't be anything left in the trailer. 
Nice. All right. I don't think that's exactly how much it'll hold, but it'll hold a good amount. It should tell us down at the bottom. No, I ain't doing it. All right. Well, there we go. We'll go ahead and raise these three up. Get that ready to go. There is one other thing that I want to do, and that's going to be slurry. Now, usually this mass amount of slurry won't fit in there. And slurry, unfortunately for us, is not a total amount that we could just kind of throw in willy-nilly however we want. We can double the amount of slurry. However, we're going to have to do a little bit of work down there. If I wanted to double it, I would need to put in another fermenter, which I've kind of considered taking over this space, cutting down the trees, and putting at least one, if not two more fermenters down. We've got kind of everything that we need right now. We've got two power plants, which is more than enough, five intakes, plus the slurry intake here on the side, and not one, but two different flamethrowers. So, I, I think adding a couple more fermenters might be the way to go. I think it might be the way to go, but I guess we would have to wait and see. The one thing about this is the slurry goes directly in. So you might be able to watch the slurry right here. That number is going to skyrocket. And when it's all said and done, we've still got another uh, 16,000 liters of slurry in here. That is one thing we are not utilizing very quickly or using very fast is the slurry. So I'm just gonna have to put it back in here. Oh yeah, if you thought I was gonna use anything other than that, you're out of your mind. And since money is literally growing on trees right now here in this map, I'm gonna take this John Deere and we're gonna boost it a little bit. So let's customize it. Uh, we've got everything about it that I want. However, we don't have that engine set up. So let's bump up to the ADAR 370. I still want the CVT. I know we could go up to the 410, but that's a power shift and I'm not interested in the power shift. So there we go. We're good there. We also need to repaint it 29 grand. <laughs> no, I'm good. We're good. Here's where it's going to be fun. I don't actually know if I can pick up two rows or if I can pick up one row. Um, I can pick up two rows, but it's not going to be easy. So it looks like we are doing these one at a time. I could probably put some kind of windrow system in the front of this and work, but it, I just don't think it's going to work. Not completely, not every time. So I'm going to take the time and I'm just going to pick all this straw up. How much you think's out here? If you guessed 2,340,876, you would be right on the money. Did you get it? So there's really only a few places that this is going to be going. First is going to be to the cows. As you know, we got, well, twice the amount of cows yesterday than we had before. So that's going to go over there to fill up them. We'll double check just to make sure. Yep, full of straw. With the remainder going to our new silo, at least for now. I'm sure at some point we'll come in here and do something. But for now, we'll just kind of fill this up. Now we got a bunch of straw. We don't need the money. So we don't have to buy the straw. Actually, we could sell the straw and then buy more straw to fill up the amount of straw that we sold and bought, and we'd actually make more money. Look, yeah, you don't believe me? Check this out. I should probably back up. That train comes through. We are done. Check this out. So we've got a uh, straw selling for about $150 per thousand liters. Well, I can buy it for 30,000 or for three, th th 30 bucks, not 30 bucks. So I could literally sell it and then buy it back for one fifth the price. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to do as well. So of course we're taking our wheat flour and we are making sure that it distributes. So we're gonna make sure that it distributes here, spawns in here, uh, and we are going to activate that. And I'm also going to change this output. Right now it's set to spawning. I'm gonna set it to selling. So now I have just an automatic, just everything's automatic. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to sell anything. I don't have to do nothing. And also, we're heading to our very own sell point that we placed down. Station Bay or Selling Bay number three. And that's where we're going to sell all this straw. I know not everybody's able to use the, uh, you know, put whatever you want, wherever you want mod. But if you are, I definitely recommend putting a couple selling stations back here. They look cool. They're exactly like where you would expect them to be. So it feels like there should be selling points here. And... They don't overlap with each other. There we go. We'll sell all that. 
how much do we make? 340,000. Um, and it would cost us 300,000 to fill this trailer up. Kid you not. But since we don't technically need that, I think we're good. I gotta figure out where to put this trailer though. Man, I got too many trailers and too many stuff. I need just a place, an area that has a bunch of storage that I could just park trailers because this is getting this is getting slightly out of hand. And now it's time to get back to work. Uh, we got a lot of spraying to do, a lot of fertilizing to do. The production chains, they're fine. They're probably gonna make us more money than anything. However, we still got this big old field here and we got field two as well. All right, grass in there still needs to be mowed, but you know what? I'm probably not gonna worry about that right now. We don't need it and I may, oh, <laughs> goodbye sign. Uh, we may only use that field specifically when we need it. And I don't really think we need it right now. What I do need, however, is to get this tractor fixed. Uh, it's a little bit not fixed right now. Repair three grand, goodness gracious. We'll go and repair everything while we're at it. $14,000 to repaint? I think not. No, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and hire it on this uh, area right here as well. Double check, make sure we're good to go. Fast farming, enabled. We're set. Heck yeah, man. Oop, there's the train. We barely missed him. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hire this worker here because I'm gonna be back, hopefully, with a full headland by the time that this guy gets to where he needs to go. Where are we at? Here we are. Now I can just take over and finish the headland and he'll come down through here. Be fine. I'm so good at this. All right, well, I didn't exactly make it down here in time, but I think it'll be just fine. As you can see, we've definitely got a bit of a spot right here where it's well, it's not missed, it's just not there anymore. I am gonna hit it twice though, that way we've got a bit of a buffer down here on the end. That way our sprayer doesn't come by and hit nobody. Otherwise, uh, I'm just gonna run back up to the top. We're gonna run back and forth. We'll see how fast we get this field done. And there she goes, off to do it herself. Let's double check on everybody else, see how we're doing here. All right, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Only 92% as well. By the way, in the last episode, we talked about how you should buy the Kubota mowers that we were using here you should definitely buy this kubota well branded sprayer this is from the kubota equipment pack from iconic and it's just awesome it uses less solid or, well less fertilizer less everything when you use the unrealistic versions as you would expect uh, it's definitely worth it uh what does that say it needs rolling <laughs> oh remember when i said something about like yeah it'd be really cool if we could just you know do rolling <laughs> no, thank you. And we're coming to an end. That is going to be the first fertilization state down. And we are going to get ourselves... Well, we're actually going to kind of do a little bit... Fireworker? Thank you. You have nowhere to go, bud. Uh, we're going to do some fun stuff because I want to do corn. Yeah! I haven't done corn yet. So... We'll put all of our sprayers in this person's front yard, which I keep using. Uh, you know, if they just behave themselves, they wouldn't have a bunch of stuff in the front yard. That's all I'm saying. Ah, yes, the uh, Kinsey planters here, which have the blue on them because I accidentally overread the old way of doing it. My bad. Also, a little bit, a little bit eh, through here. Um, should have just jumped over here. So I think this might be where we have to leave it, at least for now. We are ready to get planting. However, there's a few things that I need to do, like, well, overriding this so that's not blue anymore. And so that we've got actual colors that are correct and not little pieces of blue everywhere. So tune in for the next one right here on Griffin, Indiana.